Did you know that most people who live in Columbia, Missouri call it Como because they want to and it's short. And if you're ever anywhere where you hear someone shout out, M-I-Z, the correct response is Z-O-U. Casey and we are Class C Broads. If you've been following the channel, you know that we recently sold our house and we are hitting the road full time. But before we do that, we wanted to show you a little bit about where we've been living for the past eight plus years. So stick around and we'll tell you all about the biking bucket list and beer adventures in Columbia, Missouri. Whenever we go to a town, we love to check out the local universities. In this case, we're in Columbia, Missouri, where we lived for eight years, and it is home to three institutions of higher education. One of those is Columbia College, which boasts 10,000 plus students nationwide. And then there's Stevens College, which has about 600 or so students. It's an all-female college. And then, of course, the granddaddy of them all, the University of Missouri, M-I-Z. Z-O-U. We love to come and explore the campus, especially the area that we're at right now, which is the Francis Quadrangle, where there is Jesse Hall and the infamous columns. The columns were part of the university's old academic hall that burned down in the 1890s. People were going to tear down the columns, but after public outcry, somebody determined that they were okay to stand, and so they remain standing to this day, even though the academic hall no longer is with us. Interestingly enough, there is another set of columns in Columbia there are six ionic columns at the University of Missouri, but also these four Doric columns behind me, right in front of the kind of courthouse city hall area. And the area between the University of Missouri and this governmental area is known as the Avenue of Columns. The great part about the Mizzou campus is that they have all of this incredible plant life throughout with all sorts of labels on it. So if you are into plants at all, make this a must stop. If you like to look at flowers and trees, this campus is full of beautiful flora and fauna. Oh, the flora and the fauna. Yes. <laughs> The University of Missouri is probably best known for its School of Journalism, which consistently ranks as one of the top journalism schools in the country. You might also have heard about the University of Missouri's George Smith, who was a recent Nobel Prize winner in chemistry for his work in bacteriophage display. I'm sure you guys know all about bacteriophage display. I do. Well, they do here at the university. They also know about soybeans. When I worked here for about eight years, I learned a lot about plant breeding. So when you think about the soybeans you eat, some of the wheat you eat, some of those varieties were developed right here at the University of Missouri. And, and just its impact on the farmers in Missouri and the Midwest is, is just really super interesting to know and be proud of. Go science. Go Mizzou. 
M I Z Z O U。Columbia is currently home to four breweries. The oldest is probably Flat Branch, and I would say that's my favorite as well.、Um, they have some good summer beers, like they have this awesome strawberry beer. It is so good; you can't see through it. It's so thick. They also have a green chili beer that will really get you in the end. They have really, really good food, and I think that's why it's probably my favorite. And their patio. <laughs> Is awesome for afternoon day drinking, and then there's right down the street、uh, Broadway Brewery, which is also kind of a staple of Columbia. They've been around quite a long time, and they also、uh, serve food that have really good mashed potatoes. They just opened up a little pub as well on Ninth Street, so be sure and check that out if you're in town. The two newer breweries that kind of hit when the craft beer. Uh, craze started happening. Our Logboat and Bur Oak, and Logboat has a really great space as well for outdoor activities, and they have amazing art for their beers. One other great thing about Logboat is right across the street is the Ozark Mountain Biscuit Company. This place used to be a food truck and got so popular that they actually opened up a full-service sticks and bricks restaurant. And I'm telling you, if you like biscuits and gravy, or pulled pork, or any just sort of country gravy goodness, Ozark Mountain Biscuit, check it out. And they have a full bar. So if you need to have a few craft beers or fancy drinks with your dinner, they've got you covered. Clogboat is also probably the biggest in terms of distribution. We found their cans all over the place. Although we actually found a Burroke Old 63 can up at a White Sox game in Chicago. Burroke is probably my favorite, even though it's a haul to get there. It's about 10 minutes away, which in Columbia. That's a hall. It's set in this sort of industrial area, and there's all sorts of kind of games that you can play inside there. The other reason why I really love Baroque is that you can get a case of craft beer there for 26 bucks, and we've paid 26 dollars for a six pack of craft beer at other breweries. So I think 26 dollars for a case of beer. Is a bargain, and the beer is good. I like the Cooper's Landing IPA and the Big Tree IPA. Those are probably my favorites. Don't forget to say hi to Clyde the cat. That's true. Within walking distance of our house is Shelter Gardens. Columbia, Missouri, is home to the Shelter Insurance Company, and they maintain this fabulous—I think it's about five acres or so—garden that is free to the public. And we probably come here once or twice a week. And it's always changing. I think they have these little garden fairies that come out at night and swap out the plants because we were here a week or two ago and it was all tulips, and now it's completely different. And every time we come here, we always see something that we haven't seen before. And they have great little labels for all of the plants. So again, if you're a plant person, this place is a wonderful place to visit. Check it out if you're ever in Columbia. So one of the great things about Columbia are the numerous bike trails and the trail system. The 
MKT, which stands for the Missouri, Kansas, Texas Railroad Rails to Trails Trail, is really the heart of Columbia's trail system. It's a nine mile trail. And then you can connect up to the Katy Trail, which can take you all the way across the state. One of my bucket list items is to ride the whole Katy Trail over, you know, a week or so when we're in the RV. One thing I will note is that Columbia is very hilly. So the MKT is flat, but once you get off the MKT, you're likely to encounter a number of hills. It's great if you want a good workout, but if you're like me, get out your e-bike and explore Columbia. There are several trails that connect right up to the university, and one of my favorite things to do is actually to ride my bike around campus early morning when the students are not up yet. Downtown Columbia is known as the district, and here you can find tons of independently owned, one-of-a-kind retail shops, coffee shops, restaurants, bars, bookshops. Yes, they still have brick-and-mortar bookshops down here, and breweries. Be sure and check out some of the alleys because a lot of businesses are located in the alleys as well. But my recommendation if you are in the area you've just had a nice meal somewhere is to come to sparky's sparky's is really an institution in columbia even though it's only been around for 15 or 20 years fun fact it was named after the owner's dog sparky and fun fact number two their ice cream is amazing any flavor you won't go wrong but we really enjoyed the oatmeal cream pie. If you are ever in Columbia, Missouri, in addition to beer, we recommend you check out Trops. As adult alcoholic slushies in discreet styrofoam cups. I'm having a tiger paw. I'm having an island punch. So on a hot day or even a not so hot day, come on out for a styrofoam cup. Check it out. I'm gonna give myself a brain freeze. Why would you try to do that? The Columbia Farmer's Market, it's actually the number one farmer's market in the United States as of this year. They have all sorts of educational facilities here. On the land, they grow a lot of food that are given to local people through the food banks. And there's all sorts of plans to further develop this area with more buildings and educational resources. So Farmer's Market really is a true gem in Columbia. The great thing about the Farmer's Market is that the Ozark Biscuit Truck is here. I order biscuits and gravy. Sausage and Oh yeah. It's a real deal, mm -hmm. folks. You need more gravy? I always need more gravy. 
gravy makes the world go around. It's in a better mood, that's for sure. Yep, sausage, not mushroom. Gotta get that protein. How's the flavor? If you're ever in the Columbia, Missouri area in your RV and need a place to stay, head on over to Cottonwood RV Park. That is where we are right now. It was the first campground we ever went to when we first got our travel trailer, just to make sure that we didn't break anything or kick the tires. <laughs> yeah. And it's the last place we're staying in Columbia, Missouri. So it must be okay. The campground is located just off of Highway 63 north of town. It's probably about five minutes or so to get to town, quote unquote, because Cottonwoods is sort of in the country. There's about 80 some sites here. Most of them are pull through and the sites are sort of on the small side. That's probably one downside about it but there really are a lot of good amenities here at the RV park. Yeah, they have a really nice laundry room and you can pay with an app on your phone, so that's a plus. There's a very nice pool, although we've been here when it's been sort of chilly out, so we haven't exactly used it. There's a little playground area for kids, a large pavilion where if you were kind of camping with groups, you could, you know, have a nice barbecue underneath there. They have a, a rec room that looks like it has um, some workout equipment in there. And the camp store is more of a souvenir store mostly. I mean, there's a few basic items there. One good thing they do have is some local beer. Uh, we paid about $45 a night and that was with, I think, a 10% discount or so. So it's a little on the pricey side, but it's really probably the best option for an RV park that you're gonna have in the Columbia area. We hope you guys enjoyed us sharing some of the things that we like about Columbia, Missouri. If you're ever in Missouri, be sure and make a stop in Columbia. And in the meantime, whether you're on the road or on the web, stay classy. Cheers. Cheers. Okay, this is going to be a super fun fact. Did you know that Oompa Loompas were created in a laboratory right here on the University of Missouri campus in 1845? Okay, she just made that up. That has not, there's, Oompa Loompas didn't even exist in 1845. How do you know? Because the movie wasn't even out then. It's, it's based on a book. Uh, she's just making stuff up now, now folks. Look, there's an Oompa Loompa right there. God. This is what I have to deal with. Why would you try to do that? That's just dumb. Sometimes a brain freeze is better than your attitude. Well, a brain freeze won't get rid of my attitude, so then you're just doubly mm. hurt. No, I just freeze you out. You do that all the time. Mm -hmm. That's called not listening. Mm -hmm. mm. It's happening. What'd you say? Huh? It's happening. Huh? You're weird. Mm -hmm. What'd you got? Cheese. Say cheese. Say cheese. cheese, cheese. And you got a pig shirt on. Nice. Don't eat rocks. Don't eat rocks. Don't eat rocks. Erlene, no. Erlene. Erlene, don't eat rocks. Oh. Uh, now you got the sparky. Never had it. Oh God. Oh, Tammy just ruined it. <laughs> <laughs> so whether you're on the road or on the web, stay classy. Cheers. Right here is Tater Hall. Tate Hall. Tater Hall right behind us. Which is better, mashed potatoes and gravy or biscuits and gravy? It's a tough call. I'm going to say mashed potatoes. You know, I think you might be right. Because you can eat mashed potatoes at multiple meals. I feel like biscuits and gravy are kind of a breakfast food. Oh man, I could eat biscuits and gravy at every meal. What about... Oh, I got it. I got it. You got your mashed potatoes and gravy on a biscuit. 
that just too much? Is that over the top? I think that's perfect. 